Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Phil Studio. Well, today I had a little surprise in my mailbox and I decided I would share it with you. Actually, uh, three weeks ago I ordered a small digital oscilloscope and we're gonna unbox it and test it today. Enjoy. Okay, so I'm really excited to open the bag since I've been waiting for about uh, three weeks for this little scope to arrive. Uh, here we have the instruction manual. Since this, um, this scope can be sell in a kit and comes unassembled so you assemble yourself. Mine is already complete so I won't have to, lo to lose the time doing this. They also provide the full schematic which is really nice and I'll post the the link to order one in the description of the video if you're interested in buying yourself a cool scope and the last paper here is the PCB sheet so let's take this baby the LCD is a little bit smaller than I expected but it's better looking than I thought let's try it Okay, this sucks a little bit because there was no polarity information for the 9 volt connector and there was no power supply provided with the product. So I'll just find it myself with my multimeter. Actually, the negative is the external and the positive is the center, I suggest. Yes, that's right. Always make sure your equipment is well plugged before you fired up. Well, you powered up. Okay, so I plugged this connector to my power supply, my bench power supply, so uh, I'm a bit protected in that sense. And I'll just start it up. The LCD is booting, really flashy. Well, I love the LCD, also pretty clean. Uh, let's just test the probe that was provided in the kit. Actually, it's not really a probe. It's just uh, two alligator clip with a BNC connector. So I'll just start by simply touching it with my finger. And see if it reacts. I think we have my internal frequency resonance here. Maybe the 60 Hz or whatever. On the side here we have the range via a small three position switch and on the other side we have some push button to change the frequency range. Pretty cool design I must say. You may also freeze the signal i show you later. Okay I'll just plug my guitar so you may see some real-time audio in there. So what I did is to connect the positive probe on the tip of my guitar jack. The negative probe is to the ground or the shield of my jack. So I'm going to play for You may notice there's a little bit of noise in here, like digital pulse coming sometime, but I'm sure with the proper casing and a better scope probe, we would increase the, the quality of the signal. So, in the end, would I recommend this scope? For 30 bucks, yeah, go for it. This is not a scam. Actually, the scope is working pretty well and is really small. The current consumption is around 100 milliamp at 9 volt. I tried with a Canon battery which was 7.2 volt and it worked well too. Maybe you have to adjust some parameter. I push it to another level with an acid 12 volt battery. But the current went a little bit higher, around 180 milliamp. So I suggest if you want to power the scope to make it a portable tool, use a 9 volt regulator 
or a 9 volt battery. I don't think that a regular 9 volt battery will last long, but on the field sometime it may just save you a lot of time. So guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you you get all the info you needed and don't be shy to comment or ask and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.